Number six, part A is asking us to show that f of x is continuous at x equals two, which means we have to show that f of two is, uh, exists, and f of two is ln of the absolute value of two minus one, all over two, which is equal to ln of one over two, which is equal to zero over two, which is equal to zero, check. f of two does exist. Part, oh no, that's not part B. And then the limit as x approaches two from the left, of, you know what, we don't need to worry about left and right because we can just replace x with two. The limit as x approaches two from either side of the ln of absolute value of x minus one all over x is equal to the ln of one all over two, which is equal to zero over two, which is equal to zero, check. And since zero equals zero, f of x, f of x is continuous at x is equal to two, and you can't see that. There we go. Okay, that's part A. Part B, it says where in the interval negative two to two is f discontinuous? Well, <laughs> we can't take the log of zero. We can see, uh, let's look at f of x here ln of the absolute value of x minus one, okay? Well, first of all, x is not allowed to equal zero, okay? And that's in, on the interval from negative two to two, okay? And then x minus one is not allowed to equal zero either. The absolute value bars are gonna guarantee that no matter what, when x minus one is uh, not equal to zero, then whatever you take the absolute value of here is gonna be a positive number. So we're good there. We just, uh, we just can't have the absolute, we can't have x minus one equaling zero, so x is not allowed to equal one. And that's where the function would not be continuous at x equals zero and x equals one. So we could say, therefore, f is discontinuous at x equals zero and one. That would be it for that. Let me scoot on up here and let's look at part C. Oh, so part C, the discontinuities in part B is removable or, or non-removable, okay. So at x equals zero, what do we have here? Uh, well, that's an infinite discontinuity there. The denominator, can't, we can't cancel that factor of x with any other factor upstairs, so that would be non-removable. At the, the infinite discontinuity. And at x equals one, uh, <clears throat> well, didn't we find the limit? No, let's look at the limit. Limit as x approaches one, okay, from the right-hand side, ln of the absolute value of x minus one all over x. Well, that's equal to uh, ln of zero from the right over one. Well, that's negative infinity. Well, automatically we know if we get a limit of negative infinity, we can't have a removable discontinuity, so we'd say therefore non-removable. I think this worksheet here is setting us up for, part, uh, for problem number seven being different than both of them uh, being non-removable. But anyway, there you go. A, B, and C for number six. Let's go on to number seven.